Happy New Year! Yet the math continues. The next unit assessment is coming, so let's go. Next standard is 4 and a 5. Add two fractions with denominators 10 and 100. Here is the setup, the matrix, the almighty matrix. You can see that there are only two units left. The next assessment is February 21st and the 24th. We will focus on these standards, 4NF5, 4NF7, 4MD1. So we will finish fractions and decimals and then move on to measurement and data. Next one, MD2, MD4, and then, of course, do some other ones, OA5. And then you will have your last assessment, Unit 5, but we'll worry about that later. Let's just focus on 4NF5. Add two fractions with denominators 10 and 100. Similar setup as before. So let's set the recording and make sure that it is aligned. I hope you had a happy holidays and Santa Claus got everything that you wanted. And most importantly, you did something for somebody else. That was nice, hopefully. We have all the utensils. Probably way too much, but let's go with it. All right, so you can see the work very clear. I will use a pen. Let's hope I don't make any mistakes. Here it is, Math Grade 4, Unit 4, 2019-2020 Practice Problems, 4NF5, Number 1. Number one, which fraction makes the equation true? Keywords, academic vocab words. Last unit, we talked about fractions, so you know what a fraction is by now. Equations, this is an equation, and true it needs to make sense. It needs to work. In math, it has to be an exact answer. So here's how the game works. This is going in here. And you put each one of these in there. And it should work. Now, new year, new method. I am going to take this entire problem and put it over here like this. And draw a line down. Watch, I'm going to rewrite the problem. 3 tenths plus unknown number, unknown number, equal to 34 over 100. On the left side, we are going to do the steps in words. Step number one. On the, light, on the right side, we will show... Uh, rah, there we go. Show work. All right, I started this with the kiddos. So every math problem, there, there's steps. Step one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go with this approach. Okay. Steps on the left, we will write it in words, show the work on the right. Let's make this happen. So, remembering last unit, when we are looking at fractions, the first thing you want to check out is the denominator. Are the denominators all the same? Are they equal? So let's write that question. Step one, are all, there's one, two, three, are all the, I forgot how to spell denominator, so I'll look at my reference sheet. Are all the denominators equal? Question mark. Draw a line over. Do number one. Well, let's see. I have 10 plus unknown number is equal to 100. 10 is not equal to 100. So no. 
All right. So for step two, make all denominators equal. So over here, I have 10 plus unknown number, unknown number. Let's not forget the three. Let's not forget that 34. I'm going to put the three back up there is equal to 34 over 100. Now, I'm going to make all of these 100. Why? Making numbers to 100 is super, super simple because I just multiply by 10. And that's what I love about the standard. It should be very easy. Notice how I have 10 and 100. How do I get from 10 to 100? I just simply take 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100, 100. Since both of these numbers are unknown, let's see what they provided us as possible choices. Notice how every single one, 100 is on the bottom. So 100 needs to go in there as well. Now, do not forget, just because we made this one 3 over 10, we took that 10, 10 times 10 is 100. Remember, when you are doing equivalent fractions, if I multiply the bottom number times 10, I need to do the same to the top number. So make all denominators equal. Make sure to multiply the numerator two, okay? Number three, number three. Now, of course, we're gonna run out of room unless we just move it down. Let's move it down. Ah, works. Number three, rewrite problem. So, 3 times 10 is 30. 10 times 10 is 100. We know this number needs to be 100. And our answer has 100. Now look at this setup. 100, 100, 100. This is very, very important. Check, check, check. Now, when we were practicing this today, most students saw this right away, okay? Since these are the same, 30 plus what number equals 34? And they could do that in their head. That would be step number four. Remember, this is all in words. So watch this. Step four. 30 plus... Unknown number is, let's move it down a little more, almost there, Why is this important? On the left side, if you can explain what you are doing and then show your work on the right side, you have this standard mastered. You can explain this to somebody else. So that's something that we're going to work on a lot the next couple months. Can we simplify this? Of course. But what's important is you start identifying all of the important terminology, not only when you are solving the problem in your words, but most importantly you are also adding on to your vocabulary. Okay. All right, let's finish this. So now, 30 plus what is equal to 34? Let's just look at our choices. 4, 30 plus 4, 34 is equal to 34. Check, check. 
Notice how I got that answer right there from the very first option. I just put in four. There's four right there. The 100 didn't change. Notice how all the bottom numbers are 100. There it is, done. Enough said. 44, 30 plus 44 is not 34. 30 plus 3 is super close. That would be 33. But remember, this is math, so it needs to be exact. Done. That's 10 minutes, 30 seconds. That was longer than normal, but this problem, this process will set you up for the next three problems for the standard, which means you pass this standard according to the test. So there's a picture of the entire problem showing your work step by step. Let's summarize this problem. Okay, number one, are all the denominators equal? No, they're not. So make them all 100. Remember, for that three over 10, when you take 10 times 10, you need to also take the numerator times 10, which goes to step three, which makes it now 30 over 100. Wrap it up, 30 plus what number equals 34? Four does. That's a wrap, that is it for the very first problem. That may look like a lot, but once you get really good at this, students can actually solve this in a matter of seconds. Okay, have fun with this. Happy New Year and see you tomorrow.